Hey guys, David here. Welcome to Digital Outlook, where you're gonna find the best community in all of crypto. In today's video, Ripple is ranked number one for CBDCs, and XRP is gearing up for a major bull run. So guys, without further ado, why don't we get to it? Now guys, something that we're all familiar with in this space is competition. And when you're talking about the absolute evolution of money, there is no exception. There are a number of major players out there in this space, but Ripple has been at the forefront and taking the lead by storm. Now just take a look at this article right here. Ripple ranked number one ahead of MasterCard for Central bank digital currencies juniper research a digital sector consulting firm founded in 2001 released a new study on central bank digital currencies and ranked ripple number one out of 15 competitors anthony welfare senior cbdc advisor at ripple who also served as an advisor to the uk government on blockchain highlighted the award via twitter welfare referred to the enormous growth potential central bank digital currencies will have by you guessed it 2030 according to the study as well as the recognition of what ripple has achieved and what it is capable of according to the report ripple is ranked number one among 15 established competitors including r3 stellar mastercard gnd fis idemia and consensus for several reasons june Juniper Research writes that RippleNet's existing success and its technological capabilities within the space, as well as its existing deployments and growth with the emerging space, were key for the ranking. The study found that the value of payments, get this, via CBDCs will reach $213 billion annually by 2030. In 2023, it will already be 100 million. 100 million to literally what? In seven years to 213 billion? Guys, what does that tell you about the growth potential in this entire digital asset space? And what also does it tell you? Guys, it tells me that, hey, we're leaving behind this fiat system and we're moving big time towards this new digital economy in a massive, massive way. I mean, that kind of growth, that is is absolutely insane in seven years. Now, according to Juniper Research projections, however, the true potential will only be visible in the next few years. The radical growth potential is over 260,000% and shows that CBDCs are at a very early stage, currently limited to pilot projects. Driving the growth of central bank digital currencies will be the interest of governments worldwide in pushing CBDC projects, according to Juniper Research. The goal is to promote financial inclusion and get this, guys, and increase control over how digital payments are made, they say. Hello, what did we talk about when we've been talking about what monetary instruments are? Well, number one, they're a store of value, aren't they? Number two, there's a unit of account. Number three, hey, a medium of exchange. Do you know what number four is that they're trying to implement right now? And the Federal Reserve has actually been putting through not for publication communiques to the financial services committees, social control, guys. Those, that is the new element that they want to add. And right in here, they're literally saying that increased control over how digital payments are made is going to be a part of it. And we're not just talking about cross-border payments here, guys. When you are issued your central bank digital currencies and it becomes the absolute, you know, um, fiat, the, well, not fiat, but the absolute currency of the nation. When it becomes legal tender, that's what I'm looking for right there. Sorry about that. When it becomes the legal tender and you're going in and you're making a payment at a store for a product that you're buying, well, right there and then, if there's any tax there and the purchase... 
The money's taken out of your account, instantaneously delivered to the vendor's account, and any tax on that, instantaneously to the government, is going to be just like that. There is a lot that needs to be really debated over this whole increased control bit, and that's why it's so vitally important that we actually get out there and have our say. Now, listen to this. CBDCs will improve access to digital payments, particularly in emerging, emerging economies. We're talking about banking the unbanked here, where mobile penetration is significantly higher than banking penetration. Guys, what they're talking about is where they've gone out there, raised up cell towers, and literally handed out cell phones to to people that are living there and I've actually seen this on the ground when I've been over there in Rwanda doing missions trips and it is genuinely going on now they don't have branches of banks opened up like that there there are banks there but not major world banks like what we have access to and the financial services like what we have access to is limited to just a very small percentage of those populations but guys with mobile phones you would not believe how much financial transactions go on be with all of the folks that are unbanked and this is going to be a major major deal now that's what the study was asserting which also predicts that domestic payments will account for 92 percent of payments via cbdc's by again 2030 it seems like this 2030 just keeps coming up over and over and over again now, Ripple's main use case, cross-border payments, will be added later once systems are established and the CBDCs used by each country are interconnected. The author of the report, Nick Maydard, states, while cross-border payments currently have high costs and slow transaction speeds, this area is not the focus of CBDC development, as CBDC adoption will be very country-specific. It will be incumbent upon cross border payment networks to link schemes together allowing the wider payments industry to benefit from cbdc's well guys we know that ripple's on-demand liquidity through RippleNet can use any kind of fiat currency right now and is even in fact being used right now for that very purpose so cbdc's are not actually being developed in order to benefit just cross-border payments because on-demand liquidity can take over this whole nostril vostro space right now as is but central bank digital currencies what we're talking about there are private ledgers guys and when you go to ripple site and you actually watch the video that they have there explaining the development of central bank digital currencies for various nation states and they show hey these private ledgers and how they'll operate and xrp being a bridge asset between the various central bank digital currencies you can literally see the handwriting on the wall it is going to be a major major deal Ultimately, the study also identifies a lack of commercial product development, which is currently a limiting factor. Juniper Re Research recommends future CBDC platform providers to develop a complete end-to-end -end solution that includes wholesale capabilities, wallet provisioning, and merchant acceptance to realize the potential of CBDCs. Remarkably, Ripple already boasts some pilot projects in various countries as Bitcoin is reported. Ripple has pilot projects underway in Montenegro, the Kingdom of Bhutan, the Republic of Palau. In addition, Ripple is involved in several working group groups and foundations in Europe and the UK. They're on the Digital Pound Foundation. In the States, they're on the Digital Dollar Foundation. Look, you've got Naveen Gupta coming out there saying, hey, 20 different nation states have approached ripple to help them develop their central bank digital currencies and guys we have shown a number of various sites where you can literally see the progress that every nation on earth is making towards the development of their central bank digital currencies and some of these economies are ready right now to absolutely release their central bank digital currencies and i think guys hey 2030 isn't that far off but i really believe you are going to see 
between now and the next 18 months, a major, major push towards that. And why is that, guys? Because we're dealing with this global liquidity crisis that is literally hemorrhaging around the globe. And you got the BRICS nations out there, and they're out there already developing their central bank digital currency to work within all of those various BRIC nations. And you have 19 different states that are applying to the BRICS in order to become part of that whole ecosystem and one of them primarily is Saudi Arabia and why is that so vitally important because guys that it was the backbone of the United States petrodollar which allowed oil to be bought in US dollars around the globe and it gave the US dollar world reserve currency status and that is off the table and you are literally watching the, the, as far as I'm concerned the petrodollar is already dead we just haven't had the funeral yet wait and see what happens well guys I want to show you you something else here that's really really cool with respect to some technical analysis guys this article right here dated may 4th 2023 is talking about xrp and its bullish run towards 27 dollars now notable analyst e greg crypto highlights the opportunities and challenges xrp would face in its journey to an ultimate price target of 27 dollars e greg crypto a prominent crypto analyst has continued to uphold his narrative of a 27 dollar price target for xrp and guys he hasn't stopped there i've seen articles where he has come out and said yes we're going to towards that 27 dollars but ultimately i see us into the three figure status and we could be looking at a three figure XRP xrp and there's lots of reasons why xrp could go way way beyond that but let's just focus on the article right here the notable chartist recently compiled several analyses he had previously made to highlight the opportunities and challenges xrp will face on its journey to the price target the analyst sought to identify these factors in a composite analysis dubbed the bermuda triangle chart he highlighted several crucial points in xrp's journey to 27 dollars in coming days these points have been addressed in past analyses now He's talking about the seven arcs equilibrium price and atlas line. E. Greg highlighted the seven arcs, which represent seven Fibonacci price targets. These arcs are drawn around important price levels, particularly resistant points. Notably, the first arc is set at 60 cents, the third arc at a dollar, and the seventh arc at $27. XRP would need to conquer each of these arcs to hit $27. The analyst also put XRP's market clearing price at $1.90. A market clearing price is at which the number of people willing to sell XRP equals the number of people willing to buy XRP. At this price, there is no excess supply or demand for XRP, and the market for XRP would be in equilibrium. Moreover, E. Greg called attention to the Atlas line, a diagonal line that has been serving as support for XRP whenever the asset faces a sharp drop he noted that xrp needs to tower above this line by all means this can only happen with a price surge as observed between 2015 and 2017 as well as between 2017 and 2022 now he further highlighted a point called the final wake-up line, which he believes will lead XRP to a fierce zones of the Red Lake. Notably, the final wake-up line currently sits at 60 cents, which is the point of the first arc. Once XRP conquers this point, it will slip into the Red Lake. The Red Lake is one of the most decisive regions in XRP's journey to $27, as it represents an area where the bear sellers and the bulls buyers will struggle to take control of xrp's next price point the second and third arcs are within that red lake now listen to this bit right here according to him Towering over the Red Lake would bring XRP to a region e -Greg calls the stratosphere, which will either propel XRP's price higher or prevent it from rising for several months. However, 
Once XRP conquers the stratosphere region, it would skyrocket to the blue ocean region where the sharks and whales will start coming to swim. This possibly refers to a point when XRP will see demand from mid-sized investor sharks and deep pocket investors whales well guys we know that whales have already been buying in heaps and droves and you can see that right in the open and transparent ledger for xrp and as for sharks guys a lot of people you look at the number of xrp wallets that have have moved like between that 100,000 xrp to that 1 million xrp it is absolutely notable the change has been amazing and here he's saying, notably, four arcs are found within the blue zone, including the $27 arc. Now, meanwhile, XRP is changing hands at 46.4 cents as of press time, up just 1.34% in the past 24 hours. The asset has continued to defend the 46 cent price point despite occasional dips looking to leverage in for the next run. Guys, I'm telling you what, the day is going to come when people are going to look at you and they're going to say, you bought XRP at what price? When you tell them 46 cents, they are literally going to collapse because this ecosystem has the potential to absolutely blow the doors off of what's coming. I mean, we have not yet seen a major utility bull run. And in my opinion, when we do, it is going to be literally astounding. Most folks will not even believe what they're seeing. Now, I know what a, a 100x looks like. I mean, I was picking up some assets in the pennies and some of them in the sub pennies, like less than half a cent, only to watch them make a 10 thousand percent gain in that last bull run it literally changed our lives forever and i'm telling you guys we are still so so early in this space and the potential to see some of these moves absolutely progress to mind-numbing numbers in my opinion still exists but guys that door one day is going to close and for me i think it's going to be a suddenly i think we are going to see a sudden transition that is going to cause these prices in this marketplace for these assets to absolutely take off we'll see institutional adoption institutional custody we'll get that regulatory clarity and it'll be on like donkey kong but the majority of people who are asleep and don't even realize what this is are going to absolutely miss it and all the naysayers and all these folks are going to be sitting there holding their jaws up because they're going to be just gobsmacked at what's about to happen look at guys Guys, we've all lived through the transition of Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin came out in 2009-10. Look, it's not been that long since it's been around, has it? And we've literally watched it go from pennies up to $69,000. And others in this ecosystem have seen other major moves. Look, I know folks that have put just a few hundred dollars even into Shiba Inu only to watch it literally go ballistic and see tens of thousands of dollars worth of profit and people say oh but that can't happen you don't understand the tokenomics well listen guys i have a video that you need to probably watch when you want to see about tokenomics and you want to talk about the world money supply you literally just had larry fink not too long ago who is the ceo of blackrock 13 trillion dollars of assets under management sitting on stage and telling folks flat out that the next evolution of these markets is the tokenization of securities you know when he said that the total value of all stock markets was 89.2 trillion and the digital asset space was only 900 million you're talking about a how many ecosystems do you actually think can handle that kind of volume i'll tell you what guys there's very very few but ripple xrp the xrp ledger it's one of them and i really believe that we're going to see such a major move it is going to be astounding but guys i'll tell you what when that day comes those of you that had the gumption to get in early like you had now are just going to be thanking god for the blessings that he's given you because it is going to be genuinely life-changing i absolutely believe it and can't wait to see you there guys one thing i can tell you 
with absolute certainty is you are definitely going to want to have your plan in place before this next bull run absolutely takes off. That was the one thing that Judy and I are so grateful for, and it literally changed our lives. And what our coaching program is, that is where you and I can meet one-on-one -on -one for one hour over Zoom. And during that time, I share with you our personal journey in that last bull run and what allowed Judy and I to experience some amazing financial success. I share with you the mistakes we made so that you don't have to fall into the same pitfalls we did. We take a look at your portfolio and make sure that it's balanced towards your goals. And we work together to develop your exit strategy. We can even get your assets off an exchange and onto a hardware wallet, along with delivering to you some amazing techniques that are really going to help you in this space. Now, the cost of that is $250. And if that's something that interests you, you write me right there at coaching at the digital outlook.com and we'll get y'all booked in. Well, guys, this is the video I have for you today, and I truly hope that you enjoyed it. Now, many of you know I'm not a financial advisor, and this isn't financial advice, but if you found value in it, if you'd hit that like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And hey, drop your comments right down there in the comment section, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our regularly released videos. Well, guys, in the meantime, and in between time, stay safe, be blessed, and I'll catch you in the next one.